Hey everybody, it's DJ Micros here. Uh, I rewatched my first intro video and I thought it was just a piece of crap. So I decided to redo it. Here is a new video. Uh, basically an intro to the new tractor and the tractor series instructional videos that I am making for you guys. So um, without further ado, let's jump into tractor. What is tractor? Tractor is a DJ software which can be controlled via MIDI or through keyboard commands and mouse commands. It's basically a, a virtual set for DJing. Um, no, this is not an alternative for those who don't have turntables, CDJs, uh, MIDI controller, what have you. It is specifically to assist those who have those items. <clears throat> so kids, don't go around calling yourselves. Don't go around doing gigs with just a laptop and speakers. Wait until you have everything until you do that. First thing you guys notice, um, well, this is video is going to be broken up into different parts in the series. But I'm for this video, introduction video, I'm just comparing Tractor 1 versus Tractor 2. The difference between Tractor 1 and Tractor 2 is this middle, there's multiple things that are different. As a, If I load in a track, you guys notice that the waveform is different, is one. And uh, the difference between the waveform is that it's now a blue waveform and it shows the intensity of the music so if I zoom in so you guys can see it more it shows like each beat is brighter than the other so it's just like a Serato style of um, of uh, waveform another thing you guys notice is they shift up gain to up here and key down here they added gain up here so that it flows down from gain all the way down to the volume slides just like a normal mixer would which is a lot better than Tractor 1 because they had gain down here and it took me forever just to look for it. I, you guys can call me not observant, but that's basically what it was. Um, they still have the metronome in here. Or, I mean, uh, the master MIDI clock or master um, BPM. Sorry, I could not think of that word. You have an external one or a internal and then you have a ticking noise, so just like a metronome. And you have your effect banks uh, and audio recorder or broadcaster, whichever one. Um, in the middle, you have your main volume and your new loop record sampler thingamajig, um, which I will go into in my next video. Uh, down towards the middle, you have your mixer, crossfader, to your right is the headphone control, which used to be up here. And then you have an aux, which is an aux input. Like if I have a microphone coming in, I can put the microphone into the aux input and record it. Like something like this, I think. Uh, whatever. You guys, you guys know what I mean. Um, I forgot how to do it. Live input. I think this is from... Whatever. Anyways, um, down here's a browser. The regular browser is still the same. Nothing different. If I hit this button, sh closes my decks down a little bit so I can still scroll through more of my browser. If you guys didn't know what that button was, that's what it was. And then there's also this function right here. What is that button? Well, if I hover my mouse around it, it should pop up as... Just kidding. Or maybe if I just press it, um, nothing happens. What does it do? Well, let's go in here to my playlist. Open up a playlist, load a deck in deck A, load a track in a deck, or that's it, and then hit play. Load another one up in deck B, and hit that button. What is it doing? Skip to the end of the song, and this is what it does it plays through your whole playlist. So you don't have to, it's like Mixmizer, but without the whole um, BPM counter for you and all that stuff. It just mixes the music in for you for a continuous playlist so that you can go around taking drinks or go around giving out your uh, business cards, what have you. So that's a new feature added. Um, I haven't seen any other features added yet. That's all I pretty much see. Um, but the thing I want to point out is the first time you start it up, it's going to look like this. You have other uh, layouts that you can go uh, through and just look through if you haven't 
used Tractor before. Also, Tractor 1 users, I know you guys are like, dang, that's all there is? There's no, like, editing cue points, whatever? There is. Just double-click on the title, and then you'll have the regular Tractor look. You can hit the arrow below active, and then you have all your cue point generator stuff majig, and you have your loop stuff active on and off right there for you. It's a lot better now that the loop actually gets highlighted in green instead of just your um, those little dots on, on the bottom. So, yeah, that's what I like about the new one. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, there's also pan. They added pan in into Tractor 2. That I didn't notice. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, check out my next video on the in-depth parts of Tractor Scratch Pro 2. And I'll see you guys later. This is DJ Mikers signing out.